What's up, you guys? It's Joy Spring, and we are here right now about to interview Mike Coulter of Luke Cage, and I'm so super excited. Um, I have so many questions for him, and I know that Luke Cage and Iron Fist were put together for Heroes for Hire in the comics. I'm about to ask him many of the questions related to that, so please see. A little trivia for you. Did you know that Luke Cage and Iron Fist in the comics were put together for Heroes for Hire? Basically, they are heroes that you can pay to do good things for you. So, I'm really excited because now I am about to interview Mike Coulter for Luke Cage and let's see! Okay, so Mike, I saw on your Instagram that after a flight you were dancing to Wu-Tang. <laughs> what? You were on that wasn't That wasn't me. You know what? I saw that too. I have to get that taken down. Okay. It wasn't me. It was someone who broke into my hotel room. Oh. While I was in the bathroom, okay. I was taking a shower. I come out okay. and then I see this thing on my Instagram. It's, it's a fake mask. It's, it's just, just another person who looks and raps like you. It's weird like because you. the body looks similar. Uh -huh. I, it's a black guy who's walking around <laughs> this hotel. I don't know who he is, but I will make sure I take it down. I'm okay. sorry. We'll that. make sure that we file a report for that one. Absolutely. <laughs> report because I'm not jet so jet lagged that I would do something like that. It would never yeah, happen. Yeah, no, absolutely nothing. But I have to ask you, is there kind of a music that you listen to that gets you help into character and stuff like that? Yeah, every character has a different sort of music that you get get into that makes you feel, because music influences you, you know? Mm -hmm. Music brings you back to a time, a place, um, a certain action that you were doing. And so uh, music always does that. It's weird because um, when I saw the Instagram, not that that was me or anything, but when I saw that, that song Triumph is um, a Wu-Tang Clan song, that song came out, I remember it distinctly because it was like 1995, mm -hmm. I was in college, um, not to date myself because I'm only 27. Oh, that's um, right. Great at math, and, and, I knew you know, that. I'm great at math, so you saw that. <laughs> um, and then this was like one of the big videos that they did as a group, and it was like, at the time, the most expensive vi video done by a rap, or miss, maybe the most expensive video ever. It was like a million dollars back then on a video. It's like just no making it nothing. rain, nothing, yeah. nothing. Great, great video, <laughs> and I remember that song. It was such a, it was such a hot song. It was like the song of the summer of '95, and so, and it was everybody. It was such a great song, such a great beat. Oh, I would still remember is, that. Is that like, is that something that you could listen to if you were getting into Luke Cage? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Definitely. I mean, we based pretty much the whole narrative and trajectory of this whole idea about what the universe was for Marvel's Luke Cage on the music, because Chael mm -hmm. was really into music, and so first thing he said to me, hey, you know. Um, I want to, I want to, you know, Wu Tang Clan. You know, that's sort of my the vibe I want for the first season. I'm going sold. Exactly. Sold. Yeah. And, and it's pretty cool to kind of see his transition from season one to season two. And a lot of people are really loving season two. Sometimes even more than they love the first yeah. season, right? Mm -hmm. have, yeah. have you gotten reviews like that? I think so. I think I think second season is stronger than the first, no question. I, mm -hmm. I thought that before it came out. Yeah. Um, I was certain of that. I remember I was telling people. I said I think every time somebody would say, "When is the second season coming out?" Months and months before we finish, and I go, you know, I can't tell you. I don't know yet. I'm not <laughs> sure, but I really think the second season is gonna be better than the first. So look forward to seeing you guys. In the so do you like this um, character transition that Luke Cage has gone from season one to season two? Do you, you yeah. know, is there something that you would add to it, like maybe a romantic storyline of some sort? Well, you know, it's just you know, <laughs> you know what's funny thing about action and, and about drama and about the story and the, the narrative. In one season, you know, that season happens in a matter of days, if not, you know, maybe just a week or two. Mm -hmm. It's such a it's such a short story and, and microcosm is the time, the, the, yeah. the frame that we're talking about here. There's not much time to have develop romance it's sort of like you know we can do a little bit but it's like it's hard because 13 episodes we got a villain we got this we you know luke doesn't have time for coffee you know so many just, so many things going on so though like even for on. claire temple mm -hmm. and 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 everybody in the character so not anytime soon then well i'm not saying that i mean i, I think by third season i think we can find some time then okay. but uh he was just you know he had to get rid of some bushmaster and some you know mariah and then, you know, <laughs> i know but a, a lot of your filipino fans are so excited to have you here in the philippines it's yeah. your first time right uh -huh. Um, was there anything that people were warning you about or, or telling you would be fun to do here in the Philippines if, oh, you, if you came to go about it? You know, it's funny. I think um, uh, so, many, so many Filipinos uh, in um, in the States, you know, there's a big uh, group in, in L.A., a mm -hmm. lot in L.A. Uh, there's in Jersey City, there's a small but large or small but very, very vocal group of Filipinos there. It's, it's, ama <laughs> it's amazing. And, and I'm very good 
uh, you know, it sounds crazy. I'm pretty good. I'm not gonna say I'm very good, I'm, but I'm pretty good at discerning, uh, differentiating, between, differentiating between Asian groups. I'm pretty. Oh, I, I don't just love that's people. A talent, that's though. a talent. It's that's a talent. That's a good talent. And I, I will say this. I'm not bragging because it <laughs> sounds like I'm bragging, but I, I pay attention to characteristics, mm -hmm. and so I'm usually good about discerning between a a, a Filipino and someone who is uh, Vietnamese or someone from Chinese or Ch Korea, and I'm usually good at doing it. And I'm I'm probably 80 percent. And they're always pretty shocked, going, "Wow, I'm surprised," because I pay attention. I don't think people, I always, I always like to pay attention to what people look like and, and what makes them unique. And the, the times that I've been wrong, the person will go, you know what, but other people have told me I look like that too. So yeah. they're not offended because they know they look like that too. <laughs> exactly. So they go, I can see how you could think I'm Because every time people see me, they're like, you're Korean, you're yeah, Japanese. Yeah, you do not look typically Filipino. Really? No, you don't. I, 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 would, I would be in the fence with you too. Yeah. Okay, but, but that's understood. But your fans are so excited here um, to come and meet you. Do you know that you have such a huge following here in the Philippines and they're all kind of freaking out that they're going to get to meet you um, tomorrow? Well, I'm learning. I, I just got on social media this year, so I'm, I'm, um, I'm late to the game. And mm -hmm. that was intentional. I was sort of like not ready to be. Which explains know. the hacking of the dancing dude yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, I, I didn't know Absolutely I can leave. Absolutely not. I you. didn't know I can leave my phone unattended. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't know that that was going to happen. It's yeah. weird. So sorry, <laughs> won't happen again. Um, but you know that. So when I joined social media, I was surprised because a lot of the fans. I was going, wow, Philippines. Just seeing the regions of different different places in the world that people, you know, Brazil, Phil the Philippines, Korea, Japan. It's just a lot of great, you know, areas. I'm going. This is this is great to see where your fan base is. Mm -hmm. And, and it's continuously growing, even, uh, of course, with the season, too. Um, and I know that with the comic book fans, they're also excited about this. Um, first of all, because not just Luke Cage is here, Iron Fist also. Yeah. And in the comic book, they actually have um, the Heroes for Hire kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, where they put together Luke Cage and Iron Fist, and yeah. you can you can actually pay them to, to do hero work. Oh, where? Yeah. Where? where, where, where in um, Heroes for Hire. So it's, it's kind of like, book? yeah, it's uh, a story that they put together where Luke Cage and and Iron Fist are together, and yeah. they're heroes for hire. I thought you meant there was some kind of game or something. I, like no, I, no, no, I missed no. something. Yeah. yeah, of course. And the fans want us to, want us to sort of uh, do that now for them in live action mm -hmm. on the series. We gave them a taste of it in episode 10 for those who watched. Hey, and hey. for those who did not watch episode <laughs> 10, you'll get a, like a, a, a taste of what it would be like for uh, Luke and uh, Danny to, to, to team up. But obviously, you're so perfect for this character. Luke Cage is, you look as impenetrable as Luke Cage. Oh, yeah? Do, do you get that often? You know what? I, I, I get a you lot should, of You should, with the muscles, you know? Uh, like no, just listen, the guns I don't go. work out. Listen, it's hard to work you out. You don't work out? Not much. Don't I, say that. That's going to make no, us feel bad. No, not a lot anymore. It's tough. I mean, you do a TV <laughs> series, it's filmed for six months. Mm -hmm. um, I try to maintain, I try to eat pretty good, but it's it's like, you know, I haven't started working out really hard because we, we get picked up for a third season if we get lucky enough for that. Okay. I'll go back in the gym and hit it hard. Right now, I'm like just, you know, I'm just trying to eat right. A couple days in the gym here and there, but I, I can't hit it hard right now because you need time off. Mm -hmm. It's a grueling uh, schedule. But um, a lot of your Marvel fans uh, are actually asking that aside from Luke Cage, who's the character that I guess you kind of can relate with or you'd love to play for another movie or another I show? I like to play? Yeah. In the movie? Oh. Yeah. Mm. At this point, I can't imagine myself because everybody, everybody's playing a role. Like I would have to basically imagine myself. And if it was a role that wasn't taken yet, uh -huh. you know, like you know, obviously people keep asking me about uh, John, is it Stewart, John Stewart. It's like Green Lantern or something yeah. like that, which is DC. That's a DC character. Yeah. And um, and actually, a uh, guy I know Isaiah Washington, another actor. He, he, he I think he, he'd be great in that role too. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it'd be tough for me to kind of think about playing a, another mm -hmm. superhero right because now. Because you're so into this right yeah, now. Yeah, I think for me, I'm like, you know, superhero thing is great, but I, you know, after this, I'd like to do something else, and then I would, you know, maybe come back, you know, you never know. What's, what's a dream storyline for you to be able to do? Like a romantic story, a, more action, more drama, everything, what is Everything, you know, it's it? funny. Everything, that, whatever you're doing in the moment, mm -hmm. you think about doing the opposite, because it's this, then you're like, okay, I just want to try something else. That makes so sense. So right now, I think, um, I, I think I want to go do bad guy again. Hey! Bad guy. You know, go back and do some 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 bad guy stuff, and then you know, romantic comedy because something like that. It's like I'm gonna try something else, you know. The voice helps with the bad guy and the romantic comedy, as weird as that. Yeah, I know. Right? It's, it's good for both. It's good for both. Depends it works for both. Depends on what you're saying with this voice. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those things. Okay, so since we're talking about your voice, I'm gonna um, teach you a Filipino phrase uh -huh. that means "I love you." Okay. For all of your Filipino fans, is that okay? okay? Sure. So you say "mahal kita." Mahal kita. Oh, this doesn't matter. But now you have to do it in your Luke Cage Mahal kita voice. Ready, set, Mahal go. kita. Kinilig ako. Kinilig is like, I, I, I feel tingles in oh. my body. I love mahal it. Mahal kita. <laughs>
there we go. Thank you, PLDT, for this great new experience. I just finished interviewing Mike Coulter, and I'm so happy. So brang ako. and we even have a photo together. Look. Ah! So happy. Maraming salamat. See you guys again soon.